When I graduated from St. John's in 1940, General Roy Ferrand was president. He was only the second headmaster, as a matter of fact, during a period of nearly 80 years. Since General Ferrand's death in 1965, I know you've wondered, as I have, whether St. John's could survive without a Roy Ferrand, a Sidney Smythe, to carry on its long-standing traditions of excellence. As a new president of St. John's, I look out at the campus, the cadets, the familiar stone buildings, and I know that this academy will carry on. The video you are about to see is the St. John's of today, commencement 1987. I think you'll see, as I do, that the strength and value of St. John's is far greater than the dreams of any one man, the accomplishments of any one year. It's a time for leaving the cold of winter behind, for gazing longingly out classroom windows and counting the days till summer. It's a time for new beginnings and dreams full of hope, for good boys to take that first giant step toward the good men they will become. Graduation at St. John's. Over a hundred years of tradition have gone into the preparations for this day, and every graduating cadet is as different from the last as he is the same. The memories. The Coven Hall. Knight and Cord Halls. Hazelwood and Scott Johnston Halls. Smythe Hall. Victory Memorial Chapel. The names that meant so little as a new boy and became synonymous with home as the years flew by. The loneliness of hours spent walking off demerits on the guard path and the overwhelming sense of relief, even accomplishment, when it was over. The days when every cadet wonders if he'll make it through, and the words of Sidney Smythe echo down through the years, carry on, cadet. The days of discovery and triumph. The strange feel of the St. John's uniform as a new cadet, and the soaring pride each time a medal is added. The beginnings of lifelong friendships, lifelong memories. Memories that stretch back as far as the traditions of St. John's. Memories that will always seem like yesterday. The greatest thing a man gets here is not the valuable education he receives, but the friendships he makes that last him all through life. That's, that's the most valuable thing here. St. John's is not bricks and mortar, it's people. You recall those last few days right before you graduated, and the, and the times that you begin uh, thinking about the future and thinking about the friends that you might not ever see again. And it gives you a, just a feeling of, of pride to walk through the gates again and walk past the beacon and down the guard path and, and around the campus. A school for a few good boys to learn to become good men. That was the dream of Sidney Smythe, and that dream has become the making of thousands of good men. From wartime heroes to peacetime leaders, meeting the challenges of their world with courage, with strength, and with compassion. As another June comes around and today's graduating cadets face the years ahead, they carry with them all the dreams, all the traditions, all the memories of every cadet who came to St. John's a boy and left it a man. I'm very excited about graduation. It means a lot to me, the friends I've made here, the faculty, how they've helped us. But I know that whatever challenge I face, I can overcome because St. John's has given me the confidence and the background to, uh, to give me what I need to get through. With our hearts going out to St. John's, Sidney Smythe's dream will not die. 
We have to move forward, learn from our mistakes, and carry on. Thank you. Everything changes, yet everything remains the same. A boy will always reach for manhood, dream of greatness, and become a little better for every experience that touches him. Today, tomorrow, and a hundred years hence, the words on the beacon outside Smythe Hall will inspire a boy to carry on, play the game. And long after graduation day, when the challenges of life seem too much to bear, the words will come back, carry on. And the men of St. John's will carry on, as they have for a hundred years and more, because the values, the traditions, the wisdom of learning become the legacy of every St. John's cadet. And through the years, that legacy has been handed down to sons, to grandsons, to great-grandsons. Graduation is over. The last goodbyes have been said. The cadet uniform has been carefully folded and packed away. It is time to meet the future. There is a bittersweet moment of flooding memories of St. John's coupled with excitement of the unknown tomorrow, and the words come back. Carry on, cadets. Make a better world for your sons and your sons' sons as we have done for you. And know that St. John's will always be a part of you as you will always be a part of St. John's. Carry on, cadets. Carry on, St. John's. St. John's has carried on for over 100 years, and I'm confident that 100 years from now, we'll still be leading good boys on the road to becoming good men. Oh, there have been obstacles to overcome through the years, financial hardships during the Depression, wars that claimed so many cadets, fires that destroyed entire buildings within minutes. Yet St. John's has survived it all because one man refused to let his dream die and he instilled that dream firmly in the hearts of his cadets. When Sidney Smythe had a need, financial or otherwise, he went straight to his old boys. So I come to you in the tradition of Sidney Smythe to ask for your help. There have been too many years of making do here at St. John's. Now we have to move forward in order to prepare today's cadets for tomorrow's world. It takes money, your dollars and my dollars, to move St. John's into the 21st century. Whatever you can afford to send, whether it's $500, $50,000, or anything in between, you will be giving St. John's the greatest gift possible, the strength to carry on for another 100 years. Together, we can make all the difference. Thank you for your help. Hey. 